Assalamu alaikum guys first you have to format your USB drive that is I think uh, more than 4 GB you need so first you format that one and as you can see I have just formatted that one and after that <coughs> you can go to power ISO you just type in the Google and then there is the first link power ISO just open that one and download uh, this one after this you have to install this software first you have to install this one Install this one and After this you have to go to tools and then you can click on create a bootable USB drive. Need to power ISO and administration you want to continue OK. Continue unregistered after that it will come and then you have to click on that one. So here you can you can select the image file of your means where you in which location you have the backup so I have the backup in C user air download this is the backup so I'll click on that one after that I have this 4 GB E E4 GB okay so write method file system automatic so you know how to set up a Windows 7 8 so just simply you can After this guys you select the image file and then you can uh, you must select this uh, drive and then you can click on start it will, uh, all the data in the USB drive will be overrated do you want yes okay so now it will take I think five to seven minutes or maybe ten minutes like that once it's completed you have to go back in my computer and check in this drive <laughs> and then after that reboot the laptop or computer so you can install a new window through USB so now it's going it, I think it will take more than three minutes right now so we have to wait till it's finished very fast so same same if you have a ISO image file of win 
7 or a win 10 so easily you can do this one as also this is for the Vista but now I think don't I don't think so the people who are using Vista till today or uh, Linux I think mostly some people they are using for some specific reasons so if the people who are who want to do this Windows 7 8 or 10 so this is the very comfortable or easy way to do so whether if you have a USB of 8, 8 GB also you can use same procedure or the minimum requirement is 4 GB because the actual size of the bootable drive is around more than 3 GB so 4 GB is the last option 2 GB is not suitable for that one so you must keep that in your mind so right now in this laptop I have a Windows 10 but uh, I just want to change the window as this uh, laptop is I think uh, four or fifth generation so just because of that I also try to change the window so I'll just make a video for uh, this In one minute remaining to complete this setup after that you have to copy your all important data from C drive to E D drive or even if you have external drive so you can copy that one save your personal or uh, important data so that uh, all the data will be erased during this installation of new also now currently if you have a uh, different window so you have to save your current data or uh, important data like email emails or uh, any related to your work so ek simple sa tarika hai guys aap isko follow up kar sakte hain aur ye bahut easy aur registered hone ki bhi zarurat nahi padti free registration se bhi kaam chal jata hai to dekhen writing usb drive completely successfully ye complete ho gaya now finally we can go back to our drives and you see it's mentioned win 7 ultimate service pack I think so once I open this one this is the windows folders I think uh, it will take uh, how many GB's 2.8 GB is the actual size for this one so I'll just check my files in the laptop on C drive so after that I'll just update you guys for the further procedure thank you so from the boot option you select uh, USB select USB and then save this one So now the boot option will start automatically. The setup is starting automatically. It will take 10 minutes to complete. As you see, we have a we have a primary partition, we have a recovery partition, we have also a D drive like this partition 6. So we will go for we will delete this one first because we have to install the window in this one. So again we will create this one new and apply. And again we can se select this one 243 GB photo for the installation of this. Next now the setup will automatically start it will take i think 10 minutes to complete maybe less than 10 minutes
so guys finally this done and now restarting after the restarting you have to go again boot area in the boot option you can you can select windows boot manager on the first priority and select save and then yes now the further further system will be done after the installation finish this will come and then it will take 2-3 minutes to complete the final installation So guys, after the completion of this one, we type here. Type here your name. Your name, and then next password. So after we select the password and again new password the window will start after a few repairing your desktop. Backspace क्यों हाँ backspace मुझे करना है उस पे क्लिक करो ना ऊपर आगे वाले पे आगे वाले पे इधर हाँ इस पे अब ये आ जाएगा तो 
so guys as you can see window is installed